Hello to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Pisces. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Happy waxing crescent moon in Sagittarius. It's, in, it's currently in Sagittarius, but after it moves from Sagittarius, it's going to move into Capricorn. So I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Capricorn. Remember, these are just meant to be thought-invoking questions. A lot of people send me text messages to say, hey, I'm trying to trying to figure out if I'm going in the right direction. Things seem like they're out of alignment. You got to keep in mind certain planets are retrograde. The moon can be in a particular zodiac sign. <clears throat> Those kind of things. So I'm trying to help you along with reading your cards, help you, you know, prepare for what's to come and why you may be feeling the way that you're feeling. And also just to kind of sort of stay on, you know, stay on course. Um, the waxing crescent moon phase, the things that you can focus on since we come out of that, uh, that solar eclipse and that new moon in Libra, and then we moved into Scorpio. Now we're in Sagittarius or the moon moved into Sagittarius. You can focus on writing out your intentions and reading them every day. What are your intentions for this particular lunar cycle? You know, maybe it's something like, you know, maybe I'm going to work out more. Maybe I'm going to change the way I eat. Maybe it's going <clears> to, <throat> I'm, I'm laying the groundwork for starting a business. I've been thinking about that for a while, right? Not looking at the whole pie and overwhelming yourself, but just little bit by little bit, right? Um, another thing you can focus on is using positive affirmations. You can use visualization. How would that look if you started your business? Can you envision yourself you know, is there a building you drove by or the particular room in your house that you say, you know, if I put a desk in there and a chair, I can see myself um, running my business behind that desk, right? Um, you want to also anchor your intentions by focusing on one thing as your priority goal and then also form your intentions and set out a clear plan of action. So that's the only thing somebody should be focusing on right now, not all that other stuff what your manager is doing, what your siblings are doing, what your parents are doing, what your adult kids are doing. Like somebody should be focusing on that, setting it sometime apart every day, thinking about those things. And then, hey, then I, then I can go back to everybody else's hurricane life, right? But let me just get myself situated first. So that's going to make things a lot easier. It's going to bring a lot of things into focus for you all, Pisces, so that you don't get overwhelmed. So let's see what your cards have to say. I see your money growing. Nice. <clears throat> Here we have the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Devil card. Here we have the Six of Swords, the King of um, the King of Wands, and also the Four of Pentacles. All right. Somebody definitely needs some money from you, right? So let's look at this. Here we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. We also have the Devil card, right? Um, we also have the Six of Swords. We also have the King of Wands. We also have the Four of Pentacles, right? So somebody needs some money from you because the majority of cards here are about money so far, right? So while you've been planting seeds of intention, planting, <clears throat> excuse me, seeds of intention, being very conservative with your time, <clears throat> you've been planting seeds for growth of your discernment, growth of your um, prosperity, growth of your career success, growth of your tenacity, your patience, your um, like your determination to do something like, OK, let me make let me get myself situated first before I can help somebody else. Like when you got to put yourself first, you've been growing your loyalty to self, you know, and growing your money again, because the ultimate goal here. Is for somehow you to use this as one of a being one of the resources that you're using to help um, fulfill your purpose here on earth. So let's say, for instance, you say, <clears throat> you know, I've always wanted to, um, I've always wanted to start a business, right? So when you look at your day and you look at your the the amount of let's say you have a 12 hour day so you work 8 hours of that that day within a job so you say you got 4 hours so i got a, i got this amount of time for dinner this amount of time for you know maybe taking a bath or relaxing or maybe there's kids involved or something so i don't have a whole lot of time to sit on the phone and talk to people especially the people that i've been talking to and just telling ahead of time you know my plans this is what I'm planning on doing. And they still trying to pull you away from that, right? So it's just saying you're being more conservative with it. So now you're now that somebody's gonna be calling you, asking you for your time slash money or patience, 
All of this, all of this is money. It's not just paper and coins. Patience is money. Loyalty is money. Tenacity is money. Career success is money. Prosperity is money. All of this is wealth, right? Um, your stability is money. Security is money. All of that is money, right? Notice it's not just paper and coins. Now that somebody's going to be calling you back asking for that, Source is testing to see if you are chained to fear, doubt, uncertainty. Are you going to be willing to feed somebody else's demons or their ego? Or are you going to say, you know, what are you doing with your time? Because if they're bold enough to ask you to cut into your time to give them something, you should be bold enough to ask them, what are you doing with your time? How are you investing your time, right? Time is money. How are you investing your wealth? How are you circulating your time, right? Are you pouring into things that's going to pay off? Are you uh, around people that you're pouring into and you're getting something in return? Or are you the one that's giving, 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 giving and getting nothing in return, right? So with a lot of wisdom that you have, this is something that can make or break a situation because somebody's going to come and ask you for something and you have already sailed away from disappointment. You've already been hurt. You've been talked down to, talked negatively about all kinds of things. You've already gotten on your boat. You already sailed away from the depth of it, of disappointment and your money is already growing. So as your money is growing, trust and believe people are, people are trying to hold themselves back from asking you for your time. But you're already wise enough. This is the king of your, your throne for your you're balanced out. You have a lot of ideas and a lot of wisdom and uh, emotional intelligence. You're wise enough to know a pattern of behavior. You already know how it's going to come back around. But this time, because you're balanced out and you're not trying to carry someone else's burden, money, financial burdens, you're saying, I can't help you with that. I can help you put together a spreadsheet. No matter how angry and frustrated they are, I can help you put together a spreadsheet and help you managing how see where your money is going because they'll come sometimes people will come to you in a crisis oh i gotta take care of this i gotta take care of that i understand you told me that you had all these bills because remember you are you are growing your money for a purpose of helping better mankind doing your part to better mankind this is not you just holding on to money just for the sake of hey you know i'm living in a glass house you may be living in a glass house right overlooking the beach wouldn't that be nice right but source is saying to you now that you know what your purpose is, you're not operating in fear or doubt. You're, not, you're certainly not letting somebody else dump their fear and doubt about, you know, their situation um, anymore. Not unless you want to do something, but you're definitely not, you're not being guilted into it. And you're not operating in fear or doubt because somebody else could be on a, you know, a different path or different journey or whatever. So... Um, here we have the three of wands. Here we have the page of wands. We have the judgment card. We have the wheel of fortune. We have the world card and also the seven of cups. Because one of the things somebody's going to remember is that when you needed their time or you needed their patience or you needed their loyalty or you needed their, remember all of this is money, or you needed their tenacity and you needed their stability and their security and their career success or prosperity, they didn't have it to give to you because they were wearing themselves thin. So they're not a great manager. They're not great managers of their time. They're not being great managers of their time. So source is saying there may be a temptation for you to vibrate on a lower frequency. But um, remember that snake bite. That snake bite, you had a kundalini experience about something. That snake bite could have been a non-venomous snake bite or it could have been venomous. Whatever it was, you're already on your boat and you've already sailed away from it. You're not even, it's not even heavy on your mind as much as it used to be. There's some energies that think that you're harshly judging them, but you're not operating in the flesh. So they can think what they want to, because see, you're not chained to your fret, flesh. This would be your highest self and your lowest self, right? So because you've come out of the flesh, which is this, your demons, right? You've broken away from those demons of fear, doubt, uncertainty. You physically moved on from something, um, Pisces. People are going to think that you're harshly judging them. But really, that number two is a relationship number and zero is the God number. You have a better relationship with source inside of you. And it feels so much better at your highest frequency, Pisces. You're not, there's not a, there's not a, um, 
malicious bone in your body as it relates to those energies that you're leaving behind. You have completely and totally forgiven them. And that's what that's what <clears throat> people are going to look at when they see how you've closed out cycles in love. I mean, really close out cycles in love and like in true forgiveness. Like I'm moving on. I was born to inspire. I don't hold any ill will. That would be too heavy of baggage to hold against somebody. I'm not holding any ill will towards you whatsoever. All the time and money that you invested, is source is going to give that back to you. Wherever it is you're going, Pisces, source is going to give it back to you because somebody is sailing off to dry land to get set up and situated so you can go ahead and help other people build their lives. So I see this right here. Here we have the three of wands. There's that number three again. You were born to inspire. See, somebody was doing so busy running around multitasking, trying to make money. They were making money for everybody else. They were being more loyal to everybody else. But they had to run up against a hard wall and realize the same energies they were pouring their loyalty into, their their security, their stability, their career success, their prosperity. They are pouring all of this into somebody else, expecting for you to keep coming behind with fresh water and pouring into and replenishing their water. But then when you pulled your water back, boom, right into a brick wall. You feel happy, charismatic, and free. I'm telling you all the time, somebody's going to feel like a teenager again. You may start seeing your hair become thicker because it could have stressed you out so bad. You're going to start seeing, you know, your your pants may be swinging off of you because, again, you were carrying their weight on you, their stress on you. And so, again, somebody's just going to have to learn themselves. And again, you know, somebody may have at first thought they got away with something until you stop biting your index finger and recognize, hey, I had a kundalini experience. I got the message loud and clear. I'm not waiting for a, a snake, a venomous snake bite. So yeah, you're not, some of these energies, you're not denying their phone calls. The phone call will come through. They'll ask you for something to say, you know, well, you know, I'm, thank you for entrusting me, you know, feeling confident enough to come to me. So let me ask you a question. How have you been managing your time, right? You're trying to inspire them even after they burned you, for some of them, if they still have access to you, these could be, like I said, it could be loved ones or friend, loved ones could be friends or whatever. You're trying to still inspire them. And they, they, you know, you're not even bringing up the past of how you burned me and how you burned me out, left me in a state of confusion. You know, that snake bite, that Kundalini experience almost took me out of here. I thought I was going to die. Like if you get bitten by a non-venomous snake before you know it's non-venomous, you screaming and hollering and looking at you trying to describe it. You on WebMD in one hand and you got the, the phone calling the police and fire department in the other hand, crying out, I don't know if I'm gonna die. You heart palpitating all this all of this that somebody went through after they had a Kundalini experience. The same energy is gonna come back to you. Same energy is gonna come back to you, but you're not operating in the flesh. They may even say, Well, I know I, I didn't see what you were talking about before. It's like, listen, I'm not here to talk negative about somebody at all. I'm really not here to talk negative about somebody. How can I help? Because I'm, I'm I'm busy. I'm trying to help people. Queen of Pentacles. You're not stepping down off of your throne. So you stepping down off of your throne is compassion. But you can't pay me with gossip. That's what you're saying to them. You can't pay me with gossip. Now, all of a sudden, you see the error of your ways. You see what everybody was trying to tell you. You see everything now because now somebody is in, you know, in panic mode. So it's just like you're not trying to carry the weight of the world, their world on your shoulders. This is the, the wands card, right? The 10 of wands. So you're booked and busy and not burdened by other people's stuff. You have a guardian a guardian angel that's watching over you. They have a guardian angel that's watching over them. Your ancestors are very proud of you of focusing and staying at a higher frequency. You have a partnership in business and partnership in love coming across your path. And, um, and that's what you're focusing on. But you've already decided to cut ties. You've already decided to cut ties. Somebody wore them, like literally, that's why you see so much fire here. Somebody literally burned themselves out trying to help somebody. And people didn't want to listen. They didn't want to listen. So they're in the light now. And so here we have the nine of wands. You literally went through hell and high water with some people and got yourself sick. That's why some people, you know, um, <clears throat> some people have been literally sick to their stomach, you know, like literally feeling like you wanted to vomit, you know, just like regurgitate your body was purging some things. And so that was part of what the purging process where you just, somebody felt sick to their stomach, thought they ate something though, because of the seasons changing all of that. It was really your body purging. So 
that's what was happening for somebody. And um, now that your body has purged all of the things that left a, a, a horrible taste in your mouth, you're just moving forward. You're moving forward. So when I say, you know, judgment is on in your behalf and against, you know, somebody and you decided to go ahead and close out cycles. You decided to just go ahead and close out cycles. And so for them, they may not end up in a hospital per se over physical bruises. Their heart may be bruised, but they just keep running into burnout situation after burnout situation after burnout situation. And source is saying to you, you've already moved on. So you're not a resource in the same way that you were before. Keep on inspiring people. Keep on trying to motivate people, trying to help them to find a throne in their universe. You're trying to, you're giving them all of these ideas only for them to push these ideas back and just burn you out and stress you out. They, you're, not, you're not coming to them for, I mean, so this time when they come to you for money or your time, you're being conservative with your time. You're not stepping down off of your throne. You're not saying, I told you, show you should have listened to me. You're not, you're not, like I said, you're not entertaining their gossip about whoever they're trying, because that's all they feel like they can pay you with is gossip. Stop right there. I don't want to hear anything negative because the last time you told me I didn't like that person, I told you it wasn't even about that. I was looking out for you. You didn't want to hear me. So I don't want to hear anything negative about them. So that's something you talk to God about or talk to somebody or talk to a therapist about. I don't want to have anything negative. How can I help you? My time is very precious and valuable. Eight of coins, eight of wands, page of wands, five of wands, knight of wands, and also the ace of cups. Yeah. Somebody is definitely being very burned out right now. And as they're being burned out because they're being stubborn, Source is fast tracking you. Things are speeding up for you. Source is cooking up something really nice for you. Here we have the eight of coins. Source is sending a lot of information your way about businesses you can start, how you can grow your money, who you can align yourself with to get your mission accomplished, all of that. Here we have the knight of wands and source is saying stay as far away from them as possible because they're looking for somebody to save them from a crash and burn situation. Somebody is just going down, 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 down. They have guardian angels around them too, but they're looking for you to save them. And sources like they may have to hit rock bottom. Here we have the Ace of Cups, you know, so, you know, you've already shed your last tear over it. You're sitting on your throne, you know. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Let me make sure we got everything. Uh, do, 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 do. I just want to make sure I got make sure I got everything Pisces. Okay, all right. Uh, I want to actually let me push the cards over. All righty, one more set of cards. But that's what I'm saying for you all so far, um, Pisces. Like I said, as the moon moves from Sagittarius, somebody's gonna feel real lucky. Like you know, I feel inspired to continue moving forward. You know, and somebody may feel equally inspired to call you and ask you for something or try to butter you up to find out if they can get something from you as your money is continuing to grow. And you're com just one step closer to, you know, your goal, you know, of moving on from something, you know, setting up shops somewhere, creating jobs and opportunities for somebody. Somebody may feel bold enough to call you to ask you for some money. I'm going through this. I'm going through this. I just feel like I'm burned out. My money is all burned up and all. You know, you could ask them, are you still talking to so-and-so? How are you? Uh, uh, but you're not going to say that because it'll sound like I told you so. But instead, you're like, you know, everybody gets the same 24 hours in a day. I can tell you how I'm using my 24 hours in a day. I can tell you, you know, the types of energies were burning me out, you know. And so you're going to have to start using your time wisely. So everybody has all the tools they, they need inside of them. There it is. Where it is, Pisces. Here we also have the temperance card, the four of wands, the three of pentacles, king of pentacles, and the high priestess and the ace of cups. This right here is what you're moving towards. Like I said, remember I said before, you had a kundalini experience, that snake energy. Somebody thought they bit you and got away, and now they're trying to charm you, trying to be the, the snake charmer. They're trying to charm you. Source is saying, no, mm -mm. Like I said, everything is lined up perfectly for you. Somebody trying to charm you out of some money. Nope. What are you doing with your time? Time is money. How are you? How are you managing your time? This is what you're doing. Protecting your water. Yep. So it's two situations in particular that things just didn't work out. You've had, like I said, you had a Kundalini experience. Things are not working out the way they intended. They thought it was going to work out. Here we have the temperance card came out twice. 
You got two guardian angels that's watching over you. I mean, like I said, you got a lot of ancestors that's very proud of you for, like I said, taking the high road, you know, taking the high road and um, not saying anything negative about people, no matter how hurt, how many tears you may have shed. You didn't say anything negative about it. you were tempted to, right? You were tempted to say, oh, they got away with they think they slick. They got away with this and that. You said, no, nah, let me move on with my life. That's the beauty of knowing what your life purpose is. You can always go back to that. That's why you feel energized. Uh, four of wands. Somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. And now you've made room for new and exuberant love in your life and also made room for, um, you know, whatever it is, moving into a new home, getting married, whatever it is you're making room for. Like I said, I'm telling that's I'm telling Pisces, I can't even reiterate this enough. As hurt and brokenhearted as you may be in certain situations, it makes all the difference in the world when you can get back to your purpose and to have and keep positive energy around you. I'm, <laughs> I can't even because that's what's happening here. Here are the questions for the moon and Capricorn. See, a moon and Capricorn um, is an energy of the ultimate persistence and determination in a very practical but a very real way. Like somebody says, you know what? I'm not phased by the challenges I've, I've experienced. I, 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 you know, power through those experiences, those emotional, because their their symbol is a. Um, uh, is a, a sea goat, right? I powered through those emotions. I cried. I was upset. I was frustrated, having all kinds of downloads and dreams. I was scared. I was nervous. I thought something was going to happen to somebody. And then one day when I started focusing on my purpose, I said, you know what? The more and more I, I now I feel, I felt like my ancestors were with me. They helped me get on a boat and get as far away from those emotions, those painful emotions of the worst case scenario happening. Now, I don't even, I, it doesn't even, I'm just at a different frequency. Cycle close. I don't even feel like that anymore. I, as a matter of fact, I feel like my energy level is getting, coming back. So that's where you are. Here's the questions for the moon and uh, Capricorn to keep you further focused. First question is, what are the top three priorities this week, this month, and this year? Your, your top three priorities. The second question is, what are your biggest fears? The third question is, do you have specific daily rituals and routines that nourish you? Fourth question is, do you reward yourself when you accomplish something? Fifth question is, how much of your day or week do you block out for self-care and personal development? Those are questions you can share with them when they call you to ask you for something. You can share those same exact questions with them because somebody that you love that burned you out is now burned out. Their money is they burning through their money. They they create. They feel like emotionally they're not. Their creativity is not there anymore. They burned out, and so. But now you've already moved on. You forgave them, and you've already moved on. Forgiveness doesn't mean you forgot. You're not holding a grudge. You're not, but you're not burned out about it either. Not anymore. Luck is on your side. Yep, you already have the questions for the moon and Sagittarius in the previous reading. Go check them out. And again, like I said, questions are just optional. You can create your own questions based on how you feel. You may want to start even creating a moon calendar for yourself. How do I feel on this date? You know, very much like people who have a menstrual cycle. You know, you, you it's, it's coming. You may feel cramps or what, like your body is about to release something. You're going through a rebirth it's for men and women. Whether you have a menstrual cycle or not, it's great to keep a moon calendar. How did you feel on this day? That journal. Even if you write one line in there, today I felt good. Okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, right? So here we have clear your energy field. Clear your energy field, whether you have sage stick or sage spray or clapping your hands or, you know, music that's breaking up the, you know, atmosphere, you know, doing deep cleaning around your house, whatever it is when you're clearing your energy field, you know, sometimes clapping your hands, playing an instrument, listening to music, all of that, opening your windows, saying some, you know, very um, positive affirmations about things, looking in the mirror, you know, giving yourself attaboys, high fives, kudos for getting to where you needed to get to. Here we have surrender. Sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe. And that's the lesson that they're learning. Stop trying to control the whole universe. That is the lesson that they're learning. And you had to learn that lesson yourself too. It's like you went from, oh, they think they got away with something and they did such and such and such and such until you said, wait a minute, hold on. Wait, let me stop myself. They just did something to get themselves 
removed from my universe. All I have to do is walk over to that door and close that door and lock it, double bolt it, and start the cleanup process and go back to my peaceful life. Huh. Okay, I'm getting this. I'm seeing how this works. <laughs> right, Pisces? So that's where you are. That's that's the path you're on, right? Milk and butter. 25. Like the silk off one's flesh, I am the giver. I am the eternal. That's where you are. That's where you are. Your life is milk and butter without trying to carry somebody else's burdens. You know, their fear, their doubt, their uncertainty. You know, you, you, you're you not talking negative. Like I'm telling you, somebody's going to call you and tell you, oh, they were a narcissist and you were right. It's like, I'm not even sure who you're talking about. I've forgiven every single person because they can't find an ally and you to step get you to step down off your throne. I don't even know who you're talking about. But remember, you were telling me that they this and that. I didn't believe you because they it's like a like a person who's running from pillar to post. They see your life is getting better and their, their life is just going down, down. And everybody that they're attached to, same thing. Because they won't break these demonic bonds. You said, listen, I'm not operating in fear. I am limitless. You're number zero. There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. Yep. Last card and let's close it out. So hopefully those questions will help you. Those moon and uh, Capricorn questions will help you. But yeah, this waxing crescent moon, whenever we, after we come out of a, a new moon, we move into a waxing crescent moon. And so you can set intentions all day long, but if you don't put that mental and that physical energy behind it to get it done, I'm talking about even if it's a little bit at a time, Pisces, you're going to look back every cycle. You're going to feel like, you know what? I'm behind. I'm behind. I'm behind. Doesn't matter when you start, just start. <laughs> you know, doesn't matter when you start. Don't worry about other people judging you. They're not your God. Just start, right? Just start a little bit each day. Affirmations for creativity. I'm a ball of creative energy. Uh, creative ideas circulate my very being. I tap into all aspects of my imagination. I command my inventive skills to step forward. I connect it to my truest self. I am solution oriented. My gifts create room for me. I am grateful for my innate gifts. That's it. That is what I have for you, Pisces. Like I said before, you are limitless. Keep on going. Your, your gifts are making room for you, you know. You're not chasing the money. So if you feel like you need to take a break every other day, do what you need to do to get yourself recharged and reset because the money is coming to you. Just get settled into that life, like protect, like learning how to create boundaries and not being afraid of enforcing those boundaries, right? So you're getting into this very wealthy mindset. Like I said, queen of pentacles, people already see you on that throne of being an asset in their lives and not as a liability in their lives. And everything has lined up perfectly for you. So don't worry about everybody else who's not uh, managing their time properly. Source is giving you the resources that you need in order to accomplish your mission here on earth. That is what I have for you, Pisces. And I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.